The Easter holiday can make or break your grades. So make sure you watch the whole video to find out how you can utilize the Easter holidays to get the top grades. I'm a big believer that anyone can get a grade nine or an A star or whatever you're aiming for in any amount of time. It's just some people have to work harder than others because they find it harder to understand the content or perhaps they don't learn as quickly. I think that everyone has the potential to get the top grades up until the Easter holidays. And that is because after the Easter holidays, if you're in year 11 or year 13, you're kind of pushing it very close to the exams. So in the Easter holidays, if you grind, if you work hard, anything's possible. Let's get into this video. The first thing you want to do is make a structured revision timetable. So for GCSEs, there's so many subjects. And for A-levels, there's so much content. We never get a break, do we? But the way you can make a revision timetable for GCSE is to do maximum two subjects a day. And you should pair up your subjects by paper. So for example, you should rank your subjects from ones that you least like to the ones that you're, you like, your favorites. Um, and then also rank the ones that you least enjoy to the ones that you do enjoy and mix and match them so that you're motivated to study. So for example, this is a screenshot of my one. Um, so I was good at RE and computer science. And I mean, I enjoy computer science. I mean, I didn't really enjoy learning all the quotes for RE. So I paired them together. Um, I was not so good at English. So I paired that up with, I don't know, one of my stronger ones like biology or something like that, just to keep me going. Because if I saw that I had to do two subjects that I didn't like on the same day, that, that would not motivate me to study. So no, you know yourself, if you if you know that if you, when you look at this on your revision timetable and you don't want to do it, you're, you're not going to do it. You're not going to be motivated to do it. So make sure you pair up ones that are realistic and you know that you'll actually do. But as you can see, I did them by paper, so you could do that too. For A-level, I would do it by topics say, oh, I'm going to cover this amount of topics today and this amount of topics the next day. You don't have to make it a week long timetable. You can make it a two week timetable um, and that way you can cover everything. Maybe in the first week you want to do paper one content and maybe in the second week you want to do all paper twos, or all the paper two content, because um, realistically in the real exams, you're going to sit paper one first and paper two. This video is mainly um, aimed at year 11s and year 13s who have their exams coming very soon after the Easter holidays, especially this year. They're doing it a week early. I don't know why, um, but I guess you finish earlier so you get a longer holiday, but we got this. So after you've made a structured revision timetable and the reason why you want to make a revision timetable is because if you just say, oh, if you just say it, I'm going to do this tomorrow, I'm going to do this tomorrow. You're not actually going to do it. You need to physically write it down. Even if it is on pen and paper, um, you're more likely to do it. You don't have to put specific times in your revision timetable. Like you don't have to say, I'm going to definitely do this from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Because if you don't get it done by then, you're going to feel stressed. If you tell yourself that you're going to get those three things done and don't give yourself a time, just say, whatever happens, no matter how long it takes, I'm gonna get these three things done. Whether you start them all in the evening or you spread them out throughout the day, that's up to you. That's how you work. If you work better in the morning, maybe get them all done in the morning and then you get to relax. Or maybe like you want a lazy morning, you wanna relax first and then get it done. It's up to you. Now, the second thing, which is not really talked about, um, I haven't heard anyone say this and I guess it can be embarrassing, but not really. It's meditation. Meditation is really underrated. It really helped me for my GCSEs. Um, what do I mean by meditation? I don't mean like doing yoga or anything. I mean like sleep meditation or just general relaxation. Before I went to bed, I would listen to a 10 minute deep sleep meditation and it really helped me go to sleep faster, have a better night's sleep um, and feel better in the morning. And that's really important because your sleep is how you regenerate. If you stay up and do more work till like 11 or longer, you're taking away your energy for the next day. You may think that because you're getting it done earlier, aka that day, and you don't have to do it the next day, 
you're going to be more productive. No, if you just go to sleep straight away at, say, 10, and then you wake up the next day a little bit earlier, well, not earlier, at the same time, you'll still feel more energised and you will be more likely to get that done. Even though it seems like you may be getting more stuff done by going into your sleep, um, you're not. You should definitely prioritise sleep. And it really helps with motivation as well. Because I was sick last week and I had loads of things happening. I was so stressed. I had my mock exams. I had some rolling mocks. I had my violin diploma. It was just all a bit too much for me. And it's the first time I felt really demotivated. Like I really didn't want to do anything. It's okay to have days like that where you're really demotivated. Take a break. You're doing too much. I, I know I do a lot, but it kind of motivates me to do even more, I guess. But I realise it's because... I, even having seven, eight hours sleep, sometimes six, an hour makes a lot of difference. So if I have eight hours sleep, some for some people that'll be fine, they'll feel really energized the next day. For me, if I have nine hours sleep, then I feel really good the next day. Then I'm more likely to get be productive and get things done. So for me, I need to be really strict with my sleep schedule. I need to make sure I go to bed by 10, if I'm gonna be waking up at like seven. And also for the holidays, it's the holidays for a reason. You can have extra sleep. You don't need to say, oh, if I if I sleep more, I'm not going to get enough done. I've been having lions. You can have lions. Um, it makes you feel better as well, more energised. The third thing is quality over quantity. It kind of goes with my last point that you really need your sleep. And if you spend more time doing more work, that does not mean that you're going to be doing better in the long run. You'll lose motivation. You'll lose your energy. You won't be motivated anymore. If you're, if you're doing quantity over quality, then you are going to burn out faster. I know it doesn't sound like it works. I used to have the mindset of quantity over quality because clearly that's the figures work, right? If you're doing more, then you're doing more. But no, say you want to do a session, but you're feeling really tired. If you do 15 minutes of really good work, that is so much better than doing an hour of sleepwalking work, if you know what I mean. And so if you do the 15 minutes of hard work and then go to sleep or have a nap or do something like watch a movie or re-energize yourself, that saves you so much time and motivation to keep you going. Because I, I know it's really hard to keep motivated during these holidays, um, but you know, we're so close. We're almost there. This is why I haven't dropped business A-level because I'm so close to being done with it. I might as well get an A-level out of it. We're so close. We just have to grind for this one last term and then you've got a whole like three month, well, because uni starts late, holiday. So think about that. I think this covers all that I wanted to say for the Easter holiday revision. Good luck with your revision. Stay motivated. If not, watch a motivational video. Those are underrated. I've had to watch motivational videos because I really wanted to get some work done, but I just did not feel like it. Take a nap if you want. No longer than half an hour though, because that will ruin your sleep schedule. Fix your sleep schedule while you're at it. Yes, we want to be regenerated and ready for these exams. After this, you're never going to have to touch some of those subjects again, like physics, goodbye. I'm not touching you again. I'm, yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. If it helped, like, subscribe, send the video if you want. I don't know what you guys do. Yay. And I will see you in another video if I'm not too busy. No, I mean, I will see you in another video. Yeah, of course. Bye.